okay guys so to create a droplet in DigitalOcean just click on the create icon the green button over here click on droplets and then we'll go with Ubuntu because that's the most easiest to set up and we'll go with the minimum dollar plan that is five dollars per month that is enough for running a WordPress website for, with you know one lakh page views per month uh, so once you have selected OS, the size, uh, we can select the region. Uh, uh, let's go with the default one over here. That is New York 3. Mm, it's better to set up your SSH keys instead of just logging in using username and password. That way it is more secure. So okay. To create an SSH key pair, uh, you will need putty gen on your windows machine and putty to connect to the server so i have that already installed so i'll just open it up by searching here once i open it i'll click on generate uh, then just move your mouse over the area and it will just create a random key pair for you okay so here we have it it's better to have a passphrase for the key so i'll just pause the video and enter the passphrase okay so now i'll save my private key okay And I also save my public key. Okay, once that's done, uh, we'll have to upload our public key content to this box provided over here. So I'll just do that and click on add SSH key. So, um, once you've copied and added the key, you will get a check mark like this over here. Also to note is that while copying, make sure that you're copying it via the put in itself and not opening it in a notepad or some other text editor and copy. Otherwise it will give an error. Okay, so now that's done. Uh, let's just name our droplet over here. I'll leave the name as it is. Mm, and just click on create. Okay, so my droplet is now creating and it has got an IP address as well. Now let's go and click on the droplet. It's on and it's running. Now it's time to connect to the droplet. So to connect to the droplet, what you'll need is the IP, the user, of this droplet and which is generally root and you'll also need the key private key pair that we have generated so let's try and connect to the droplet using our putty software so i'll open up putty and i'll add my user at the root the ip and i'll give it a name as demo video in the ssh i'll need to add the private key file that we just generated send text of demo ppk click save once it is saved i just double click on this click yes okay something went wrong maybe i didn't use the right key okay so basically i was trying to connect to the wrong do droplet so now i've just changed the ip and now it's asking me for the passphrase now i'll just enter that hit enter and there you go now you're connected to your digital ocean droplet